Sample problem number three. Three point charges are arranged as shown below or as shown in the right. Find the net force, the magnitude and direction on the positive five nanocoulomb charge due to the other two charges, the negative three nanocoulomb and the positive six nanocoulomb. So before answering this one, so you have to take note of the word magnitude and direction okay so meaning that our answer must not be in the unit vector expression okay so we have to find the magnitude and direction of the net force so we have to assign uh, q1 so assign that to c3 as our q1 assign 5 as our q2 and assign 6 nanocoulomb as our Q3. Okay? So we have to find the uh, free body diagram, of course, of the charge in question. So the charge in question is, of course, C, positive 5 nanocoulomb. So muna siya ang charge in question. So... We can represent the positive 5 nanocoulomb by a point. So, a point. Then, we have to include all the forces exerted on the charge in question, which is the positive 5 nanocoulomb. Okay, so, for negative 3 nanocoulomb, so what the force is attractive. Okay, so meaning, i attract niya si positive 5 nanocoulomb so we have here on a shot so this is the force exerted by the negative 3 nanocoulomb the next one how about for positive 6 nanocoulomb so since they are both positive so e repel niya si positive 5 nanocoulomb so meaning that it is in this direction so money c force exerted by the 6 nano column na charge okay so kung atin siyang ibutang sa itong free body diagram so ang down so we have here the force exerted by the negative 3 nano column then to the right I mean to the left is the force exerted by the 6 nano column okay so just like what we did to sample problem number one two so we have to define our cartesian coordinate axis so we have this axis so the the uh, vertical axis is of course our y axis and the horizontal is our x axis okay so next from the principle of superposition of forces so the net force on the positive 5 nano column is just the sum of the forces la forces exerted by the 6 nano column and plus the force exerted by the negative 3 nano column okay so we can express also individually the 6 nano column as so we have the magnitude so can i uh, solve them individually so the force of six nano column is equal to the force the magnitude i mean the force the x component the magnitude of the x component i hat plus the force of six nano column the y component j hat Okay, so one asha. So first we have to solve the force exerted by the six nano column. So as you can see here, uh, it is going to the right. So meaning since purely horizontal raman imuhang six nano column, wala shy y component. So this means that this one is basically zero. Okay, wala man shy y component. So therefore, we are left with the i hat. So here, kung lantawo ni mo sa imuhang a coordinate system, so we have to make a coordinate system. 
where the positive 5 nano column is our origin. Kita na to diha. So the angle padulong sa imuhang force vectors m6 nano column is actually equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So therefore the force of 6 nano column is actually equal to this one. The magnitude of the 6 nano column force tapos cosine theta, the angle times i hat. Okay, so this one, the angle of 6 nano column is obviously 180 degrees. So, but we have to find the magnitude. Okay? The magnitude of the uh 6 nano column force is using the column's law. So, K, uh, Q2, Q3, because your 6 nano column is our Q3, and the distance between uh, the two charges, the 5 and the 6 nano column squared, tapos cosine of 180 degrees, tapos I hat. Okay? So, I hat na siya. So, okay, so let's simplify. So, simplifying, na atay force exerted by the 6 nano column as, so your k is your column's constant, so 9 times 10 raised to 9, and then your q2 is equal to, that is 5 nano column. So, nano column is not an SI unit of charge, so nano column is times 10 to the negative 9, okay? So, 5 times 10. To the negative 9, okay, sorry, negative 9 column, then multiply this one with Q3. So our Q3 is the 6 nano column, so that is 6 times 10 to the negative 9, okay, column. Okay, so one at one uh, charges, but the distance between them, so two charges, is equal to 0 0.300 meters. So, since meter is an SI unit of distance, so we will not uh, convert it anymore. So, we have 0 0.300, okay, so sorry, meter squared. So, my tablet is, but the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. So, in order para ma-specify yun to ang direction sa imuhang, a force vector sa so 6 nano column so we have to put the negative 1 sulod sa imuhang negative i hat because the negative i hat direction is simply means to the left in the x axis meaning na asya sa x axis that pointing to the left okay so that really describes our force vector ng 6 nano column okay na na so simplify so what is the force exerted by the 6 nano column. Okay, so let me compute this one. Okay, so 9 times 10 to the 9. So 9 times 10 to the 9 times times 5 times 10 to the negative 9, of course. Then we have the other charge as 6 times 10 to the negative 9. Then divide it by, by 0 0.300 squared. So that is equal to 3 times 10 to the negative 6 newton. So we have 3 times 10 to the negative 6 newton with the direction of negative i hat. Okay, so that's it. That's the force exerted by the 6 nano column. So next, we have to move on with the force exerted by the negative 3 nano column. So, just like what we did sa atong 6 nano column, we have to express this one in terms of unit vectors. So, we have here uh, the x component of 3 nano column force. So, so what, what is happening? Okay, so 3 nano column force. So, nano column, this is the x, then we have that is i hat direction plus the y component, y, j hat. So, makita niyo sa inyong 
free body diagram that the force exerted by the negative 3 nanocoulomb is purely in vertical axis. So meaning, wala tay horizontal nga direction. So therefore, the x component is basically equal to 0. So we have to make that a 0. So what's left is the y component. Okay? So we can express this one as the magnitude of the force of the negative 3 nanocoulomb tapos sine theta. Okay, that is sine theta, then j hat. So sine theta, what is the angle of the force of a negative 3 nanocoulomb? So basically, makita ninyo, if you are going to measure the angle from the positive x-axis, padulong pointing to the force vector sa mong negative 3 nanocoulomb. So that is equal to 270 degrees. Okay, 270 degrees. So basically, kung nang tawin ni Nemo, uh, we have, oh wait, so we have here the magnitude first. So, ato lang ikuan si Columns law. So, K, Q1, Q2, over R12, squared, tapos, sine of 270 degrees, J hat. Okay? So, J hat. After that, we have to, uh, we have to, Put all the values, so columns constant, 9 times 10 to the 9. Then your Q1 is basically the 5 nanocolumn. I, I know, that is the negative 3 nanocolumn. So we have negative 3 times 10 to the negative 9, so convert that one. Then we have the 5 times 10 to the negative 9 column for the uh, charge in question divided by the distance between them. So, what is the distance between them? So, that is equal to 0 0.100 meters. So, you, uh, there's no need for you to convert that one because that is already in SI unit. So, this is squared. So, get the absolute value. Now, sine 270 degrees is actually equal to negative 1, diba? So, negative 1 so, meaning that our force vector, as you can see here, is pointing in the saman, downward nga direction. So, that represents the negative nga j hat. So, atong ibutang si negative 1 here sa imuhang j hat para ma-perfectly describe niya ang direction ni uh, force vector ni negative 3 nanocolumn. Okay? So, let's answer this one. So, let's simplify so, 3 times 5, okay, so, th uh, no, no, so 9 times 10 to the 9, so we have times 3 times 10 to the negative 9, then multiply again this one with the charge in question, then divide by 0 0.100 squared, so that is 1.35 times 10 to the negative 5, so I will write it this one times 10 to the negative 5 newton in the negative j hat direction or in the negative y axis okay so let's find the force vector so the force vector i mean the net force vector on the 5 nano column is we just have to add all of them okay so the result of the f sec uh, the force exerted by 6 nanocolumn is 6, a uh, 3 times 10 to the negative 6 newton, this is negative i hat, plus 1.35, okay, times 10 to the negative 5 newton, negative j hat. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, tanaw. Okay, so, namali siya. Oh, what is happening? So, can I control Z this one? So, maot ka siyang J. So, ako lang siyang E. Okay, so, negative J hat. Okay, J hat. So, how can we find uh, the magnitude and direction? So, kung maingon ka sa problem nga net, ve uh, net force, so, okay lang niya siya nga kuan nga uh, 
I mean, na uh, answer, but we are asked to find the magnitude and direction. So, the direction is you need to use the inverse tangent. So, we have inverse tangent of the F F5 nano column, the Y component, so the Y component divided by the net force, the F5 nano column, the X component. So, pila mo na siya. So, this is your angle, theta, di ba? So, ako nang siyang gibutan sa yung lecture nga presentation. So, the Y component is actually equal to negative 1.35 times 10 to the negative 5. So, mo na iyahang uh, direction. Okay? So, I mean, I mean value day, value. So, the inverse tangent, okay, so, dilik kay mo gana akong pen, is 1.35. So, remember ha, kanang dool gani sa J hat is actually the Y component. So, mo gina always, kanang dool sa J hat. So, we have 1.35, so, 35 times 10 to the negative 5, okay, so, negative 5 newton, Tapos, negative, this negative, because na may negative this sa J hat, so divided by the X component of the net vector, or the net force vector. So we have negative 3 times 10 to the negative 6 Newton, okay? So how much is that? So we have to cancel Newton. So in finding the inverse tangent, you have to make sure that your calculator is in in deg nga mode okay so that you can find the uh angle in degree nga, nga form okay so we have inverse tangent so can i inverse tangent that one so 1.35 so wait okay so 1.35 times 10 to the negative 5 then we have 3 times 10 to the uh negative 6 so negative 6 okay so next so how much is this one okay that is basically 77.47 or that is approximately 77 degrees na lang i mean 77.5 degrees so ang imuha ding uh, directions a uh, net force is actually in this direction Okay, so meaning nga i i ana siya dali, okay? So na siya i so dili iyang direction. So that is like 77 degrees mo ni ang direction. So next, ang dani siya. So, how much next is how about the magnitude? So, the magnitude is we just have to get the, so, what na ko ano space? So, I would just uh, add some page. Okay, insert a blank page. Okay, blank page. Okay, na insert ako blank page. So, naguba siya. <laughs> okay, so, kamo na like na. So, we have here the, um, mm, Okay, so we have the direction, 77.5 degrees, and we also have the, the, excuse me, what is this? So, draw. Okay, so draw. So, we have here the, okay, sorry about that. What is happening? Okay, so I just, so, Hindi siya mo gano, no? Mukuan siya. Iyang i-insert. Control Z. Okay. So, nada? So, we have to draw. Okay. So, the magnitude of the net net force on the 5 nano column is we just have to square root of the x component. So, mukuan na siya, di ba, sa inyong vector, as you can recall, sa inyong 81. Okay, so na naman yung gireng gireng. So, can I control Z this one? 
So we have x squared plus f 5 nano column y. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry. So y then squared. So more na iyahang magnitude. So imuhang uh, x is the negative 3 times 10 to the negative 6. So we have square root of negative 3 times 10 to the negative 6 newton squared plus plus the y component is negative 1.35 times 10 to the negative 5 newton okay newton squared so we have here so i will calculate this one so 3 times 10 to the negative 6 oh sorry 6 squared plus 1.35 uh, okay 1.35 times 10 to the negative 5 squared then taking the square root so we have 1.38 so the magnitude is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 5 newton so na siya magnitude nga 1.38 na which in the direction of 77.5 degrees so how can we know nga sakto yun ni ato ang direction nga 77.5 so kung tanaw na totong vector so we have here na atay usaka um, so how can we add vectors so graphically we can add vectors from someone from head to tail okay head to tail lang so we have the force exerted by the 3 nano column and then ato na pong ikuan si I mean no 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 so dapat dito sa pantikas tayo so, can I erase this one? Erase, 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 erase. So, we have here. Okay, so. Mm, so, sorry. Bakuan kaya kung laptop. Okay. So, my laptop is very kuanakaayo. So, we have here. Uh, the F of 3 nano column. Then next is the F of the 6 nano column, the force of 6 nano column. So the vector is from head to tail. So diri, padulong dari. Okay? So mo na ang pag add niya sa vector. So is it 77 degrees? So as you can see here sa ato ang, sa ato ang problem. So, from head to tail man. So, ato, kung ato po na siyang i, i... So, is it? So, as you can see here, ang 77.5 degrees is going in this direction. But, the ve vector nga na result na to is mao ni siya. Paubos siya nga direction so pa pain ani ni siya nga direction di ba right so kung makita po na ninyo makita po din ninyo nga kanang kuan kanang uh, tanaw ni mong iyahang net force nga they are both negative so meaning dapat ang imuha gyud ding kuan ang imuha gyud ding net force must be in this direction Diba? So, must be pointing in the third quadrant. So, nano mang nana siya sa quadrant 1. So, to aid this one because di uh, mo yung siya makuanan because this is correct but this, this does not represent the direction or the true direction of your net force vector. So, that is why you you need to graphically add them para makita ni mo kung asa yud ang imuhang uh, net force nga point. Okay? So, this is not 77.5. So, what we're going to do is we have to. Okay, so how can we do this one? 
So, diri man ang 77, di ba? So, this is your 77. Okay, so I will just uh, put this one here. So, naka 77 diri. 0.5. So, how can we do, how can we get this uh, angle? Okay. Seven, that is 77. So, what you're going to do is you just have to add 180 degrees. Okay, para mo add to siya sa imuhang uh, the true direction of the force vector nga paubos siya, di ba? So, naatay. So, we have to add this 180 degrees. So, what is the answer? Okay, so, where is my calculator? So, we have 180 plus 77.5. So, that is equal to 257 point five degrees. So, mo ni ang tinood niya nga direction. So, it doesn't matter nga imo siyang gi, gi shift because they are both correct. They are called kanang kuan, kanang meaning they have the same components but of the opposite direction. Okay? So, meaning nga kani siya nga angle, kani siya x and y component pero both positive. Kani siya na x and y component but both are negative but the components are equal. So, kagets mo. So, same lang sila components but we have to shift it. Kay lahi man siya og directions ato ang resultant as you can see here. Okay? So, this is the uh, not, this is correct sa calculator but that is not correct in physics. So, that is why we need to shift that one by adding 180 degrees. So, kung inyo, inyo siyang i-check, so if you check this one, Tanaw ninyo, uh, how can we check this one? Mm, check if, okay, check if uh, makuha ba ni mo ang uh, force exerted by the 5 nano column, i-check ni mo siya. So, naman kay F5 nano column, X, I hat, and f, uh, f nano column, y j hat so i-check ni mo uh, like this is your cosine theta diba this is cosine theta this is sine theta so i-check ni mo if sakto ba imong nakuha nga nga answer here using the 257.5 degrees okay so if sakto then you are correct so this is the answer this is the magnitude and this is the direction okay so that is sample number, problem number three.